Hey, what's up guys? Mills Cole here. Welcome back to Space Engineers, episode 68. I'm in my off-camera world. Um, yeah, I've gotten some comments lately uh, asking about what I'm doing off-camera and whatnot. Um, yeah, pretty much explored the universe. Uh, there's lots of stuff out there. I have a space station very far away, which I forgot that I was at when I started this episode. So yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> uh, we're just landing on Mars, coming back from the space station. I'm trying not to crash this thing, because I have a really weird thruster setup. It's not the greatest. It's pretty bad, actually. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you around. Something a little different, because uh, we're in a building phase for the last, like, 30 episodes. So I thought, hey, why don't we change it up and we'll start this episode off with something a little different. Boy, I am going to hit hit the ground. I'm going to show you guys how to hit the ground. It's going to be something. I need to go forward. I need to get over here. So this is kind of my derp world. Um, nothing too serious. I just derp around. Uh, and this is actually what our Argamas Sublime Miner is based on, is this ship right here. It's Miner 1 Part 2. Uh, for the people who have watched the series from the beginning, this is the Part 2 of Miner 1. Which, yeah. <laughs> didn't survive. Alright, let's get down here. I want to approach from a different angle, so... Yeah, you guys can kind of see some structures. <clears throat> Nothing too fancy yet. I wonder how this thing controls on the ground. Cause I realized I don't have any uh, atmospherics pointing... pushing me forward. Yeah, that was a fun discovery. I have the stoppy ones. I don't have the forwardy ones. And there's a certain place I like to land with this one. You can see solar panels and something big in metal. <coughs> Alright. Come on, Muley. <coughs> Man, I, I was ready to go. I was ready to walk you guys around. Then I discovered I was at a space station. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go easy. Alright, this is pretty cramped, so let's come over here. I need a straight up and down. And we like to land it about here. Urch, urch. Ah, uh, okay. Easy. Uh, I'm not even close to where I want to be, but okay. It's fine. This thing's actually hovering pretty good. Let's go over here. It does not stop well, though. So yeah, this is a uh, Mars base. Well, uh, in another Muley storyline, I guess. This is a what if saga. <laughs> um, I get, am I good? Okay. Land it. Uh, we have met the ground. Locked. Three, two, nine. F. So, yeah. Um, minor one, part two. This is my really terrible, uh, welding ship. It's it's horrible, guys. This is the worst welding ship ever. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I kind of hit the ground once and never repaired it. Um, we'll get to this in a minute. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty basic base. Let's take you through here. Oh, come on. Keep up. Okay, so right here we have 
an airlock. It's a terrible airlock. Uh, this is set to... Let's get some light in here. Depressurize the room. Always. At all times. Uh, it's a simple way of not losing oxygen out here. Because that's the main goal. Uh, I don't really care about pressurizing. Because when you open this door, it blows you back and pressurizes you. So we'll get oxygen here. This will start sucking the oxygen back into these tanks. We close it. Now it's depressurized. That's probably the most simple airlock you can. You can have. Um, I've had friends here, not too many. I just, yeah, I don't like doors being left open. That's all that sign really means. One oxygen generator, uh, conveyor junction, medical room, lots of oxygen tanks because I overbuilt it. Uh, there's a vent here. I can actually take off my helmet. There's a flight seat to do your energy thing. This works with everything. So my oxygen, hydrogen, energy, and health all go up from this because it's all hooked up. In this room, we have our refinery, assembler, arc furnace. It's a uh, one, one, one. There's only one of everything. It's all piped up. Nothing too fancy. One large cargo container. Uh, another vent. A whole big brick of batteries. And the first flight seat I ever did. This airlock, I think, works. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I had plans to expand, but then I just didn't. Uh, this is kind of the junkyard out here. There's nothing in it right now because I've ground it down. I don't think this works. This uh, oxygen tank. It was going to expand that way, but yeah, that's that. Uh, let's put, our, put on our helmet again. Uh, this is back in that room we were just in because this is an expansion. Or no, this is the original room. This is an expansion. Nothing too fancy. Have another airlock here with a crappy door for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Oh, you know what? This was the original door. We didn't have slaying doors back then. So yeah, uh, here. Now, if you look in, um, okay, look at the bottom of the screen right below the nine key. It says O2 high. This is how this works. It just sucks the air out of the room. Every time. O2 none. And you can open this door and you don't lose oxygen. Simple airlock. Um, yeah. So we're back out out here. If we go up here, we have something I was a little too ambitious in starting. Uh, I haven't worked on it in a long time. I just stopped one day because I said this thing is huge. And yeah, kind of went overboard. And I, I'd rather play on our survival world rather than this one, honestly. I mean, if I get friends on here, I say, hey, weld this, hey, weld that, and, you know. We do space engineer stuff, but yeah, you know. Uh, if we come over here, we have, I think this is a second refinery. I guess I do have two of them. Yeah, second refinery. Lots of solar panels up there. Uh, this is kind of the uh, the inspiration for the Earth uh, solar panel setup. When you put them up high, they catch more sun. Like you can't see the sun right now, but these are still getting power because they're so high up. Yeah, pretty pretty simple, easy stuff. Uh, over here, there used to be a nanite factory. That's what this pipe is for. I took it out because it just wasn't working for some reason. Uh, we have an oxygen farm. We have a conveyor. I, yeah, two oxygen farms. Here's a large reactor that I just said, hey, we need a large reactor. Now, onto the fun part. This right here is the crown jewel 
this world. This is the Neptune. Um, do you have an antenna? I think you're turned off because I was out of power. Uh, but we can look at it. So this is a ion and atmospheric powered ship. It's capable of flying on the alien planet or in the alien gravity, I guess. And yeah, it's pretty simple. Nothing too special. Have a charged jump drive. Just one jump drive. Let's go take a look inside. It's not the most technical ship, guys. Oh, uh, I'm losing oxygen. Okay, that's fine. Are we going to refill? Yes, we are. Okay. So yeah, um... You enter into this room, and this is supposed to be kind of an airlock. It's not really. <laughs> it's just kind of the... This is where passengers sit. Four of them. Uh, this is the bridge. And there, I think there used to be chairs here, but we moved them back there because my brother decided to jump out of his seat while we're leaving a planet and killed himself. Um, yeah, pretty simple bridge. It has a very, it has a decent view, uh, nothing too fancy, it's just a large ship that's not very large. It's the bare basics. Uh, if we travel back here, we have uh, just this little room here. I thought about putting like another console here, I never did. Uh, it's got some viewing places. I mean, if you get bored, you can walk around when you're flying through space. Uh, got some gyroscopes. There's one gravity generator. Uh, one large reactor. We have some batteries stuffed every anywhere I could put them. Uh, this conveyor system runs all the way up to that vent in the bridge. And all the way back here, where we have a small cargo container to access. It's got some simple tools, it's got some ammo. Um, the ship doesn't have too much right now because I was actually mining for uranium. Uh, one large cargo container, a couple oxygen tanks, I think it's mirrored on the other side. Uh, ion thrusters, yeah, batteries, pretty simple stuff. We have a medical room right here, just stuffed in there. And on the other side, to kind of even the weight, I put this here. Uh, and this is the backup. Like, if, if we die somehow in the front, we can jump in here. That's, you know, the secondary, not anything too fancy. Uh, yeah, and the jump drive's right here on the back of the ship. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the Neptune. I should show you a test flight, honestly. Uh, I have to get some uranium in this thing because it runs on battery and solar but not great uh, it constantly tells me that my fuel's low and uh, it's kind of a nightmare but yeah that's just that's just a ship that's the Neptune it's fun to, fun to fly around but nothing too fancy uh, I need to go to this large reactor and I'm gonna take uh, we're gonna say 300 because it never gets used uh, it's just you know what just take it all I'd rather it be in here anyway so the cool thing about this ship um, no hydrogen needed all of the ice is for oxygen so it's good for long distance trips it's just small and cramped and there's not a lot to do so that's why the jump drives there uh, and in order to access anything here you need to come here throw this in and we'll get the green light and those will start charging and yeah the ship is alive it's pretty dark here uh, I didn't see the need to light it too much but yeah it's it's all right I guess I could increase the lighting but yeah there's that uh, let's go view like this batteries are off um, number, hold on, I gotta, I gotta check something, uh, weapons, okay, atmospheric ion jump, 
Large reactor, air vents, okay. Okay, I got it. I haven't flown it in a bit, so bear with me. We need those two on. Test. So yeah, uh, it's a pretty fun ship to fly. It's nothing too fancy. Let's uh, kill the ions. See if we can get off with atmospherics for now. Yeah, there she is. Nothing too fancy. It doesn't look good. <laughs> it's just, you know... It's, it's fun to add on to when I'm, you know, in between things every once in a while. Uh, but yeah, it's not too bad. We're going to get up and out of here, though. And I'll show you a jump. Some people that have watched this series probably haven't even seen a jump. And oh, let's do this. Are those still helping? I think the atmospherics are still helping. A bit. Now why is this only moving at 99.87 meters per second? Usually it goes to 100. Which is strange. Alright, atmospherics are off. We're holding steady. And yeah. It's got some solars uh, installed. Yeah. Now uh, it is increasing. I guess it's just something weird. I don't know. But yeah, that's uh, basically it. So yeah, uh, let me get up to a height where I can do a jump and I'll bring you guys right back. Alright guys, uh, we're almost out. We're at about 33,000 meters up. Yeah, uh, pretty much just holding space bar. No problems, no issues. We're gaining speed, almost to 100 meters per second. Uh, I brought you back because I wanted to show you how scary it is going up with this thing. I can't exactly get, like, directly under it to look. But I know there's a bunch of asteroids right above the base. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much right above it. And it's always super sketchy leaving Mars in a ship. Uh, if you just hit the space bar, that is. But yeah. We're almost there. And then we can make a jump. We're out. Uh, this thing slows down so slow. Uh, it only has the four ion thrusters small ion thrusters on top uh, so usually when you get out you have to do one of these little tricks like this uh, and yeah that'll stop you but yeah it takes time where am I I'm going this way okay I need to turn like this then right or yeah I guess I'm stopped right so uh, let's see let's do a jump to earth uh, the reason I'm picking Earth is because the alien planet. Okay, here's here's uh, here's Earth's distance from here. Okay, now look at this. The alien planet jump point uh, takes two jumps with this ship, so you have to jump once, then jump twice, and it takes time to charge. And I'm not really up for it. Uh, but let's do an Earth jump. Let's do that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go I, control panel, type in jump drive, and then we're going to go to, uh, let's see, it would be Earth jump point. Select, it'll put it right there, and then uh, this is when the magic happens. Ready? So, we sit here like this, and we hit the 5 key, and it says jump, desti jump destination Earth jump point, distance to proximity of coordinate 1957.72, uh, achievable percentage of the jump is 99.51%, so we're going to end up a little short, I think, 
Uh, weight of transport mass. Operational jump drive. Sea crew on board. Okay, so we want to confirm it. And then the countdown starts. We're just going to get rid of that so you guys can see what's happening. And there we are. Now, where are we, you might ask? Uh, there it is. There's Earth. So, how far did we jump? Uh, let's check and see. Where's Mars base? Where are you? Oh, right there. There it is. So everything I've ever done is over there. Um, and yeah, now we're back at Earth. It's pretty cool. Uh, the ship is capable, you know. Nothing too fancy. Oh, it has weapons too. Uh, which are... Uh, let's see. We got a Gatling and a missile on top. And we have a Gatling on the bottom. That's it. That's all. And yeah. Uh, I think that's that. So let's, uh... Yeah, let's get back to our main game. So, uh, yeah. I'll bring you guys back when I get it all loaded up. Alright, guys. We're back. Hi. Uh, right where we left off. So, uh, yeah. Someone mentioned one of these catwalks. Two of these catwalks are not correct. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do we want to... Uh, do we want to change this? Would it hurt if I did? Probably not. I should... I should just continue the railing. It is a catwalk. I mean, you never know. This block could go away. So yeah, let's, uh, get rid of this one. And this one. We'll do a two-sided catwalk. Um... It's this one. It's number two. And yeah. I think that works better. So like this. And like... Uh... Why? Like this. Perfect. So I think I got that right now. Um, yeah. Catwalks. Nice catwalks and stairs. This episode I didn't do much, did I? I journeyed through the universe. Uh, in another dimension. If you will. And yeah. Alright. So, uh... What I wanted to do for the remainder of this episode, which is only a couple minutes, is get this, uh, get this planned out. Get the bridge planned out. So let's see here. How do I want to do it? Um, hmm. I kind of like the height. I might even step it down one more. Uh, just for effect. This nose is nice though, because it's a perfect 40. Just about, right? I think it's a perfect 40. Hmm. Maybe. Well, <laughs> we can't really raise all of this up. That'd be ridiculous. Ah, but it'd be so nice. You know what? I think I should put in the effort, extra effort to bring this down. What am I carrying? I'm carrying everything. Um, but nothing for this. Okay. Let's see. I've got stuff on me. Hmm. You're all, you're all good to go. You should provide everything, right? No oxygen, because I don't have the tanks on. That's the only thing. Uh, my oxygen's kind of low, actually. Let's go, uh, refill. Refill some tanks real quick. And I'm going to get some stuff for that. So, you go away, you go away. I'll take two of you. I'll take one of you and I'll put you away. There we go. Beautiful. Not that, this. Perfect. I think the extra effort would be nice. Um, we could still make it a 40. If we do something about this nose. So let's see, I want to get rid of this nose. I want to... Well, I don't... Do 
I have to get rid of the nose? I think I do. Because I don't want this to be just a walk-in thing. I'd like it to actually stare down about right here. What do we have below us? I can do it from about here. Let's take this one away. Yeah. And... Gotta move these panels again. How annoying. What are our batteries doing? That'll be the determining factor. Let's go look. Let's go look. You're all about full. Three quarters, that ain't gonna hurt. Um, yeah. I could just weld stuff today. I wouldn't mind that. Maybe I should just do some welding. Well, I... <sighs> We can weld anytime. This needs welded too, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, let's go put stuff away, grind down some solar panels. Doing okay on time, I think. This is uh, without speed ups I'm basing it on. Go like this. Uh, go up here. I think I can carry... Is it two solar panels? One... Two. Uh, and I could actually just here's what I'll do put you right there now we're just moving them for now uh, let's put them out here I think this is okay we still got to close the hangar in but uh, this is well we'll be at the hangar in no time jeez one right there. And can I do a little trickery? Can I do some trickery? Come on now. Do the thing. Do the thing. This way. Oh, look at that. Two. Uh, can I do three? I probably can. Maybe. Three. We'll just put them right here. We get the same effect, say we're right there, except for they're right here now. There we go. You're done. You're not. That's alright. Still got two to grind, so let's grind these two. And this one. And let's go finish up. Beautiful. Cool, now we're getting power and we can uh, focus on this. So let's see, I wanted to grind it down right there. Hmm, I think we need to pick this up. Which takes away our emergency launch, but that's alright, because we have plans. We're gonna step you down. Uh, don't fall apart on me. It's not gonna, don't worry. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Hmm. I hope I'm doing a good thing. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's fine. We're fine. That was a heavy one. You're a heavy one. You're also heavy. Let's come over here. And let's go to you. You're the one. We're gonna put stuff in you. Uh, you're just a connector. That's okay. So we can access everything we need right here. Some of this stuff is like separated out and it's annoying me. Okay, good. You. And you, and you, I'll keep you, take this away, perfect, I'm still carrying a lot, hold on, hold on, we gotta, we gotta put stuff away, you go away, and I know this seems like it's, uh, like it's, we're moving in the wrong direction, that's alright, we'll be okay. Now, I think I can only carry like two of these heavy armor blocks before it starts getting sketchy. 
Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Come over here. Do this again. Is there a way that I could reach in there? Get a hold of that. Hmm. No, oh, you butt. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll go like this. We'll type in a uh, drone. That should do it. Beautiful. Alright, this should finish this. Yep, we'll do it. Ooh, almost did it again. Alright. So, we need this to come. Let's see, now this is going to be the deck. Hmm, I think if I did... A... Let's see, is there... I know there's a two-part slope. There's the light armor and the heavy armor. Okay. So I think if we go with this one, and then we went with a heavy tip, that would bring it out too, right? So we go number nine. Not the little one, this one. I've got this all messed up. Flip, flip. Like this. Okay. And then we go number eight, and we go like this. Oh, perfect. And we still have our 40. Uh, and it gives it kind of a cool shape. I don't know. Is it cool? I think it's cool. You're good. You're good. And you're all heavy. Heavy armor. Now, we still have to do a heavy armor. Uh, what am I carrying? I've got enough. Okay. So, heavy armor here and here and here. We should probably carry it all the way back to here. And then let's do a. Um, this one can actually go away. And then we will go like this. And this will be where it attaches. Just for the sake of saying. We did it. Um, should this be heavy? No, I don't want to go too crazy. This is just, just to say we did. Uh, anything red? Nope, we're good. Okay, so there's that. Uh, we're going to, let's see. I also want to bring this conveyor up. Let's see. But I want this conveyor to come over and up to where our main seat is. And is this a good spot? I think it might be right here. I don't want it to be offset. I kind of want this to be centered up. So, we'll put it behind this. This is kind of a, a barrier wall. Yeah, we'll do it right here. Okay. So, do I have any interior plates? Because that's what I'm going to need. I don't. Do I have any down here? Just for the sake of the quickness. There we go. Like that. Number seven. And we're gonna go all the way over to a here. And then can I oh I can. Like this. Like that. Like this. Like this. And like this. And that is where our cockpit is going to go. So, I need a good flight seat. We always go flight seat. Flight seat. Right there. You're going to be right there. You're going to be just the happiest little camper that ever did live. Uh, what did I just use there? Okay. That's good. So there's that. Um, and I can go with light armor. Do I still have steel plates? I do. Let's go here. Kind of want to get this welded. 
There we go. Then we don't have to worry about it. Then we can go here. Light armor blocks. And we're going to bring it all the way in front of this. To probably, probably there. It's a probably job. Like that, like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, uh, I think that is dramatic enough. We'll have a stairway here and a stairway here. We're gonna double it. So we'll have a door, a door. Uh, this, hmm. This is all gonna be covered somehow. Something like this. It's gonna have something. I'm not gonna leave that there though. Okay, uh, that's the cockpit planned out. This will be wider, so let's see, where am I? So, wall. Should we just go all the way? I think we should. Dramatic effect. I don't want to cover that quite yet. Guess I can go here, and here, and here, and here. Let's go all the way to there. Because I want to start planning for a sharp angle on the, on the front. But not yet. And I'm leaving those open because I don't know. We're going to have to put some weaponry around. Uh, and yeah, I could just cover it and have things down here. But you never know. You never know. Maybe I want some guns here. Yeah, how's that? Uh, let's plan some stairways real quick. How much time we got? We're over. We're always over. Stair. Some stairs. Right there. Perfect. Uh, we have enough to do four. One, two, three, four. And that's how you guys count to four. Uh, okay. This takes interior plates, doesn't it? Uh, we have we have it. We're good. So I'm thinking something like this. I would like. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not feeling it here yet. Maybe we should do a catwalk. So we have our. Maybe we should have one door, and you come in, and it's this catwalk here, and then stairs. I think that would be a little better. Let's go grab some more uh, steel plates. Which I think I have some. Just enough. Just enough. Okay, that's good. So let's come up here. Do a couple more. Let's do you. And you. And then... I need... Catwalks. Let's go with a number three. I can't do it here yet. I have to have stair. Er, no. How do I do this? I need to be up more. So I do need to put some sort of a something here. Let's go. I want to go with a heavy armor. A heavy armor block here and here. All right, let's just plan this out. And this is gonna be a door. So let's do a door. Do I have a door here? I don't. Sliding door. Like that. And we'll do it uh, this way. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I want this to feel kind of cramped. Like you get in here and there's this effect that it's like, you know, there's these walls here. It's all closed in and then it opens and you see the bridge. Uh, you guys will see what I mean if you can't visualize it. But yeah, we need some catwalks. Let's go here. Let's go number three. Number three. Like this. Let's go catwalk here uh why did i pick number three i don't need number three do i 
Ah, that's what I was going for. Right there. And right here. Right. No, I kind of want a railing. Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. I can't do a railing there. I can't. I have to do a number one here. Like this. And then stairs. Number five. Like this. Out one. Like that. Okay, I hope you guys can see what I'm going for here. You come out, there's this rail here. You have to pick a path, but it leads down into the bridge. Here's the control. I might even want to move this forward one. Hey, you. What are you? I think that's a military vessel. What are you? Hmm. I don't know. Let's uh, get some stuff. Get some stuff ready. Cause that's not gonna be good. I have a camera there? Okay. I guess I do. <laughs> uh, what do I need? I need uh, some of these. Some of these, maybe. Some of these. This. That. 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 Whatever. Let's go see. Let's go get this done. So if we have to emergency launch now, we're going to have to emergency launch right now. Computers, 100 of them. Maybe we should save this for another episode. The old, the old muley cliffhanger. Right? Alright, this is pretty important, so let's get this ready. Let's get in here. I think I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, let's go control pan- or no, what am I doing? I don't want to do that. I want to do this. I want to go groups. I want to go batteries on the end. I want to go, uh, this is a uh, recharge on off. Hydrogen thrusters, number two. Toggle block on off. Ion thrusters, three. Toggle block on off. Landing gear is number eight. Uh, is it switch lock? I think it's switch lock. Batteries. Okay, those are drone. This is all arc stuff. Okay. I think we're good to go in the case of an in case of an emergency launch. But before that happens. Let me see what I got in my inventory. Let's uh, do things like that. Right? Right? It's okay. We'll take care of it. All the way. Do it all. Do everything. Okay. Um, Man, I hope that just passes right over. Let's take a look and see which direction he's going in. Get it right there. He's going to do a flyover. I think he's going to do... It's a mining transport. Okay. Well, you'd be mistaken to come this way. I'm just saying. Might have to ram you with the arc. Yeah, he's, we're good, I think. Uh, my friends. My friends, it has come to that time. I have to say... Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, that was a fun episode. I really did have fun with that. Uh, yeah, leave me a like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Tell your friends. Thank you for watching. If I didn't say it, I think I said it. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye!